Hi, that is uh, a mansion by one of the highways near Orangeville. They call it the Grange Side Road. And that mansion, I've really been in that mansion. It's really beautiful. Hi. <clears throat> Check my website at ilmaarts.com for more of my artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share with you the Palm Devotional which is extracted from 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20. It says, For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. And here is my poem. Living by God's power. Do you live in the standards set by this world? Do you depend on God's power shown in His Word? For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is about believing and following Jesus' walk. Can you discern the wisdom that God provides? Do you listen to all the things He reveals and confides? Living by God's power is accepting the spirit within. It is by walking in love that we can be free and redeemed. And here is the essay part of the devotional. The world we live in puts much emphasis on power. Everyone wants a bite of this power. The clamor for recognition, success, wealth, possession <coughs> have all led to a life of corruption and conflict. Each one wants to prove who is better at something. In God's economy, though, power is only granted to those who seek the Lord. It is a power to let go and surrender every need, craving, and desire our hearts yearn for. The Bible tells us to live in God's power. How can we live by His power? We can look at how Jesus lived amongst us. He was the Son of God, yet He did not exercise any of His power. He surrendered to His Father's will. Prayer. Lord, show me how to humbly surrender. Reflection. Why is humility essential in salvation? That is the end of the poem devotional. And... <clears throat> I just like to reiterate what uh, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 4.20. Um, a lot of Christians who are into ministry, most of them forget um, that it is only in God's power that they will be able to <coughs> get more people to, to, to believe in God. Um, and sometimes and uh, you can get into so much works of the flesh but uh, I think that it is important that we rely only in God's power because later on you know how the enemy can deceive us if he can actually use our ministry and <clears throat> cunningly and slyly put it in such a way that we actually do not bring glory to the Lord, but to ourselves. So just be careful that you are living by God's power and not by your own power. And that the Bible says that also that God must increase and we must decrease. So in doing the works of faith, we must always remember that He is the one that should be given attention to, given credit for, you know, and not us. So the more he increases, the more power he will bring to us. So thanks for watching and I hope that you will be able to check my website at ilmaris.com for more of my artworks and photographs. And <clears throat> keep on following God's word and tuning in to uh, the, web, the, the video blogs that I post here. Um, hopefully that I'm not derailed by my ministry and ministry to cater to God's Word and to reflect on God's Word on a daily basis. Thanks for watching. God bless.